My character in this film is named Emily. Oh my God, what is my last name? I, I was just thinking that myself and I couldn't remember it. Oh. And that bothers me. It's uh, Dila. I know so. it's Italian. Yeah. Anyway, describe her. Um, Emily is from New Jersey and she wants to be an artist, um, went to art school, and because of that is drowning in, in debt and student loans and has found herself in Los Angeles working in the gig, gig economy and uh, trying to navigate a life after having a minor criminal record and, um, and finding it really hard to make her way. And she starts uh, making uh, different choices that take her down a very different path than she ever expected. I'm Theo Rossi, and I play Yusuf. His cousin Khalil uh, is running a underground, uh, basically credit card fraud business where they um, set up dummy shoppers to go do illegal activity and buy different goods. And he, it's basically part of this family business that he has an end game. He doesn't want to be in it. He wants to do something else with his life. And he doesn't know how. And then comes along Emily, which turns his world upside down. He starts making choices and doing things that potentially he might not have done. And then the romantic entanglement of them two causes issues with him. And uh, the journey begins. I read the script a couple years ago, um, and I became obsessed with it. And I met with John Patton Ford, the writer-director. Um, he agreed to allow me to produce the film, and I wanted to play the character of Emily. I loved, I loved this character so much, and I just loved the potential of the entire project. It's been a couple of years in the making now, but I think we've, we've done exactly what we set out to do. I was involved. I was uh, filming this uh, other project, and I got a call. And I read the script in probably under 40 minutes, which is a rarity. Then I found out who was involved, and we had our meetings. And I knew that uh, this was a special project. And I feel like I still feel that way. Um, so it was just one of those ones that came together really fast. And that's how I kind of got involved after my meetings with uh, Aubrey, the producer, Aubrey, the actress, mm -hmm. and John. And, uh, and we just had this incredible team and everybody involved. I'm definitely aware of, you know, the seediness of Los Angeles. I was not aware of this particular uh, dummy shopper credit card scam which John, John found out about and wrote about and taught, taught us all about. Um, so it was really interesting to, to kind of do a deep dive into a scam like this. And you hear about credit card fraud, and it happens to you, it has happened to me a lot. I'm sure it's happened to everybody at this point, but you never really understand like wh wh who's doing this. Um, so it was, cool to, it was cool to kind of get my hands on one of those embossing machines and figure out how to do it myself in case you know things go south of my career, I have something to fall back on. Yeah. More related to this film, I think I had a couple of years in New York where I was temping and um, working in different offices and, and working the restaurant industry. And I won't, I won't give names, but I worked in a bowling alley once and they really pushed me to the limit. I'll never forget them. You know who you are. Those pins. Bowmore. Doesn't exist anymore, but I had some, I had some issues back in the day. You? But I believe that when you're pushed to the edge and your back's against the wall, that's the most revealing place to be. Yeah. How are you going to react? How are you going to react? What are you going to do? What are you made of? What are you made of? Who are you? Who are you? Where are we? Yeah. All these things come from being pushed against that wall. Yeah. Something that a lot of people don't know about me is that I have, I have a very athletic upbringing. I played a lot of sports growing up. I played baseball. I played basketball, volleyball. I was on the swim team. The list goes on. Saxophone. And I was a play the saxophone, although that's, you know, um, that's more of an oral kind of fixation that I had. But um, I liked uh, the physical aspect of this film and to, and to, and I love, yeah, I love the idea of, of doing action. I've always wanted to be in an action film. So this, we got a little taste of it with this movie and um, it's fun. It's fun. I love working with the stunt coordinators and, um, and kind of, yeah, keeping your stamina up and just getting your hands dirty. I love it. Can't get enough of it. I like to be 
slapped around a little bit. <laughs> Driving and tasting. How did I find the character? It was all there in the writing. Uh, the writing was absolutely extraordinary. And uh, the people we were working around were extraordinary. I think when you're in that situation, it just makes it a little bit of an easier step up because uh, there's no big reaching. You're not trying to make something that it's not. It's all right there on the page. And um, I think the compassion of Yusuf comes from his uh, willingness to potentially let himself fall for Emily and then also wanting the best for his mom and himself and all that. So, but while being criminal minded.